Acrocanthosaurus. Big Spinosaurus mixed with T-Rex type thing. Right? So kind of cool, big carnivore. Never even knew, never heard of this dinosaur. So let's give this a go. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast for you. So big head roaring over here and we'll put in some of the spine and his hands and maybe like just the top of his leg or something back that way. So we'll start with the eye. Up here, top part of my page, lemon shaped standard kind of dino eye. Kind of like a T-Rex eye. So it's kind of golden. So you've got like the iris and then the pupil in the middle. We'll give him like some texture, like top eyelid line, bottom eyelid line, and like all these wrinkles, sort of bags under his eyes and stuff. So he's got like a big sort of frowning kind of area, right? So it curves around his head and then curves around the eye, right? So you've got this like bony section. These like three pockets. So that's on his nose, that's for his eye. And you can add more textures in here if you want. And then the other pocket is like here. Right, so this is all like bone here, big heavy frown, right? So it's like his big bumpy sort of eyebrow sort of area. And this runs up towards his nose, which like sticks up into the air here, because he's like roaring this way. And you can add textures, of course, to all this, like skin lines and curved lines and stuff. So this goes around the top, his top lip. We have a nostril, I would say here. Dark black skinny nostril. Top lip, sort of curves around here. It can be a bit bumpy if you want. Goes all the way down to the back, down here. Curves around, goes up the back of the head and meets like his eyebrow up back here as well. It can be like bumpy a bit at the back. So, top lip has like these textured areas, right? Like coming around here. So this just has like skin, like you can add a scar and stuff, which is always fun with carnivores. And then like loads of wrinkles and around his nose and everything. So these clustered circles can help. So all these little texture lines going in, curving around different shapes and stuff. His eyebrow, you can sort of see on the other side as well. Okay, so bottom jaw, right? So he's got this like piece of skin that attaches his jaw together. It's like real big. And then the bottom half of his jaw comes down that way, right? So that's like joined together. You know, this will have like skin sort of lines being stretched and pulled and All there and then this will go down and it kind of goes in behind the teeth there and then it comes out the other side down for his chin around for his bottom jaw up to there and this will have you know that those textures and like 
gum lines and curving lines going all over this. And maybe a scar here. And like clusters of circles together again. Textures going all over. Crisscross certain lines, like a net. You know, you're thinking that you're throwing a net on top. You have lines that cross one another like that. That's what gives the illusion of reptile skin. Teeth, right, and tongue. So we, I will do the tongue first, because it's like real big. And then there's like that piece of jaw skin that goes in behind, goes behind the teeth on top. So we'll add layers of teeth now. So some are like in behind others and they're real sharp looking. behind going down the other side of the mouth and then rows of teeth down here these ones just seem to be a bit smaller Okay, so neck, curving that way, and he's got like a big spine on the back of his head here, and it's kind of bumpy, and it joins like the back of his neck going that way, but we've got like neck muscles that come like this way as well, it's kind of a broken kind of line, and down his body. And this will have sort of like spine lines going this way. It seems to like go around here. All right, so we get like just the main shape for the spine and kind of bumps down, goes off the page, goes all the way to a tail, all that way. And then these will have sort of texture lines just where his the spine joins his back, right? And then they'll join up to all these sort of lines like this. Okay, so his neck then has all those like, what would you call them? Like veins, T-Rex style sort of vein lines on them. And they're kind of dark, shadowy, thick lines. Like a couple of these will do. Like another one maybe there.
K. And there's like textures going down that way. So we get like the main, the shape of the belly and the arms and all that in now. So we've got like a shoulder muscle sort of on this side, kind of bumps down around his chest here. And then there's like a shoulder here. And this has like armpit lines and stuff coming around. And then we have like little teeny tiny little T-Rex arms going out this way. Like another one on this side. So I'd say like his wrist sort of coming out here. All right, I'll just finish off the belly before we add claws and stuff. And the, his hind leg is kind of like here. Comes out to his knee and his shin and then his calf at the back and his thigh coming around there. leg and then his like other leg should be here so then those little bitty claws just here at the front gotta zoom in now because I can't really see sorry uh, one two three okay so coming down from this line we'll add just some bumps kind of here and then like a big spike going around that way and then this goes up and then we have another claw claw here all right and then Let's say fingers here. These are like curled around themselves, so we can't really see the base of them. Like that. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add textures all over this guy, right? So it's Im imagining in you're throwing a net. So you would do, say, like on his back here. So we want to do like broken sort of crisscross lines like this, right? First, like curving over his belly. And then you want to go down. So you want to go like following the shape for his stomach and his back and everything just roughly like this and then like some on his neck and things like that and you just do that everywhere basically It's his leg and his thigh. I think his tail goes off that way. And you just do that all over all these textures on his skin. And we'll do like some shout lines and spit and stuff going this way. Do do. Okay, and you could off obviously like do way more of that if you wanted, but I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw that dinosaur's name that I can't remember. That is Acrocanthosaurus. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.